button here. All right, let's create a couple. All right, so let's say, for example, when I go to the contact page, let's just do about and let's just return some tats. Of course, you're not going to be returning tats, you're going to be returning views later, but you know, hi, about page. All right, and then let's say something for contact. Okay, something like that. All right, hi, I am contact, or whatever, it doesn't really matter. And let's just go and, and visit those pages and see how we can do something there about, you see that? So we know this already, all right, I'm going to show you how to pass parameters through view to views and to whatever you want inside that closure function right here. All right. All right. So let's say, for example, you create and let's create another one real quick. I'm gonna copy this. So let's just write it down because I want you to get used to writing. So the route, then the get method like this, and then the first parameter with a single quote forward slash to indicate that we want to go from root to whatever we put after this. So let's say, for example, we have a post, but let's say it is post number one and we want to see it. So we're going to put a forward slash and then the curly brackets and we can write whatever we want. I just want this to be named ID. All right. So that's going to be the name of our variable. That's going to be a variable, but right now it's not a variable. This is the way it's detected in this function on this method. All right, and then later on, we, it will convert it to a variable. And I'll show you right now how it, it, ha, it does this. Well, not how it does this, but where it is. Function, then the curly brackets, and then, I mean the parentheses, and then the curly brackets, and then bring it down. Here is where you catch that variable, right here. All right? Now, I can return it right here if I want to. So, returned... Uh, this is this is post number whatever I'm just gonna concatenate the ID right there at the end all right so let's see how we can do this we we'll see this in the browser so let's go so we'll go to post then forward slash and then whatever number we want two as you can see it says post number two Pose number 1000 if I want to. So you can see how it passes that variable to this closure function right there. All right. So not only that, but you can pass multiple variations of um, multiple parameters if I want to. So if I, can, if I put another uh, parameter here, let's say um, this is going to be the name. All I have to do is on the closure function put a comma here and put the name here and concatenate it here maybe with a space or something and then put a variable there all right so I can go back to that put a forward slash here and put whatever name I want Edwin there we go as you can see you can pass multiple parameters to that and now later on what we're going to be doing is we're going to pass this parameter to views and then inside the views we're going to be using them all right very simple to do this guys I mean it's not rocket science it's super easy all right so I want you to digest this information all right and that we're going to be exploring some more about routes and how we can use them with other things in our application thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next lecture